Hello Sausage, this is Nana Daryl and today we're playing The Sims 2, yes we are. And today, besides the background noise that you can hear from all the boy races in my street love, we're going to play the Belch family, yes we are, the skincare influencers. And this is your weekly reminder that they are not the same person. So if you hear background noise, I do apologise because I've got some boy races going past in the car at the moment. I have to try and cut that sound out. But anyway, here we go, love. So there's Robert. Yes, he's asleep in bed. He's having his beauty sleep. Is that Robert? Oh, no, sorry. This is Robert over here. That's right, love. Robert has just been slugging, but he's rubbing his Vaseline off all over his pillowcases, love. What are you doing, Robert, rubbing your face on your pillowcases? They're going to get all soft and greasy. Yes, they are, love. Now, he's having good dreams about chocolate. Yes, he is. And he, yes... Now, what are you doing over here, James? What are you doing? You've got the right idea. You're not moving, but you probably can't move much anyway because you're so full of Botox, love. Yes, he's right. Now, Robert's got up now. He can't sleep. He's having a midnight snack. He's putting his TV dinner in the oven. But he's no Gordon Ramsay, are you, love? No. He, he burns, he even burns toast, love. Yes, because you're not a very good cook, are you, Robert Belch? No, that's right, load up the dishwasher, darling. Now go and get your burnt other meal. That's right, love. You're as bad as my own version of Juno Birch with her burnt Barbie oven. Your ovens must be broken, love. Yes. You need to read some books on cooking. Yes, you do, darling. At least with Juno, she can't help it because she's a very good cook. It's actually her burn it Barbie oven. That's the problem. It's the issue, yes. Now what are you doing, love? Where are you going? Are you going upstairs? Are you escaping outside into the moonlight? Yes, you are. He's going into the moonlight because he wants to have a look at his burnt, his burnt oven pantry toast, don't you, love? Is it toast that you've got there, love? No, it is definitely a TV meal, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's a TV dinner meal. Look at it. It's got little compartments. Now, he's eating his burnt carrots. Yes. Oh, now he's nearly choking on his burnt carrots. Don't choke, dear. We don't want you to cark it. No, you don't want to kick the bucket. You don't want you to... We don't want you to kick the bucket, love, no. Don't want you to pop your clogs just yet, dear. You're too young for that. Now you need to clean up your dishes, that's right, love. You need to take your whiffy dishes downstairs, love, and put them into the dishwasher. In your Whirlpool dishwasher, yes, so he's got a Whirlpool, because it's very good quality, love, you see, it's a good quality dishwasher, Whirlpool. Depending on the model number, of course, they love, doesn't it? Because model numbers make a difference with electronics. You can get five different devices from the same electronics company, and some will be good and some won't love. Yes, that's right. So he's putting them in his Whirlpool. There we go. Put it in the Whirlpool dishwasher. Now, where's your brother? Is your brother here, or are you just going to clean up? Where's your brother gone? Where's James? Is he up yet? Maybe we'll cut the video soon to show James, because James needs to eat as well before he goes out. Because today they're meant to be opening their dermatology or beauty clinic, love. Yes, that's right. Oh, there he is. So James is sitting down eating his waffles that he's just cooked. Yes, he's just cooked some waffles of his own. But as you can see, he's very really happy, but he's not smiling, see? He can't move his face, love. It's all the Botox in his face. He can move his mouth and that's about it, love. You do look young though, you look good James, yes you do, you look very youthful. You don't look like you're 165 at all darling, no. You only look like you're about 12, yes that's right, with a beard, yes. You look like you've been taking something to give you facial hair, is it pink on love? Now Robert is having a phone call isn't he, he's ringing. What are you ringing love? Who are you ringing? Are you ringing a real estate agent to run a business? Yes I think you are. And where should we run a business from? I think we'll purchase a business from, should we make it Simville Central or Sim, Sim Francisco or downtown? Where should we go, love? I think we'll make it Simville Central. Now, where is the business that I built? Nana Barrel has built for you. Yes, there we go. Click yes, 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 yes. Come on, click yes, yes, I think we will. Here we go. <laughs> So, you know, what are you waiting around for, love? You've got a business to run, darling. Go and watch some TV and then get ready. They've got getting ready to go out now. Yes, they've got to go to Symbol Central to run their business, to open their business and price everything. 
and, and redecorate well, because I think they're going to have to redecorate. So here we go to Symbol Court. Yes, so not Symbol Central, because they're already in Symbol Central, aren't they? So they're going to Symbol Court, which is Nana Beryl's custom shopping area. But also there's some businesses there as well, like this one, which is the Belch Twins Beauty Spa. Yes, it is. Belch Twins Beauty Spa, where you can get some cleanse, toning and moisturising done and get a makeover. Yes, you can be pampered. You can be pampered by the Belch Twins, love. That's right, so here they are arriving in their recreational vehicle called a taxi. Yes, driven by Vishnu and Preet. There's two drivers today, they're taking over from each other. Yes, right. Taking turns, love. Now they've just arrived, yes, they've just arrived at the beauty salon and they're looking for customers. They see there's an open sign on the wall. They're not very impressed by your own open sign, love. And here comes one customer already, your potential customer. No, I think you should price things. You need to set the price for things, love. You also need a cashier. Now, who's this? Who's this man here with the red hair? You need to set the price over here. Now, when you set the price, I don't know if you're just buying the chairs. Now, I don't want them to buy the chairs. I want to set the price for the services in the chairs. Now, he's got his clipboard out, haven't you, Robert? Yes, you have. And James is looking at the posters. Now we're going to set the price here, I think, So we just leave it at 58 simoleons? Is that for the chair or for a haircut, for a makeover? We can customise the price, or just leave it, I think we'll leave it at 58 dollars. Yes we will. Oh, can you hear that traffic noise in the background love as I film this video? Yes. Bit of traffic, isn't he, love? Yes, there he is. I do apologise. Oh, now look, he's looking at the clock on the wall, isn't he? Yes, he's admiring the clock on the wall. And they are introducing themselves, are they? He's, oh, and look at this. Is this is this DK Bowling? I think it is. Yes, it's DK Bowling, children's book author. Who wrote Barry Snotter in the Order of the Eunuchs. Yes. And here she is. She wants a makeover, I think. Or she's just coming to inspect the beauty salon. Day spa. She's talking about how she thinks you should have some pink flamingos outside the front door to make it a little bit more camp. Yes, that's right. And she's looking at the Vogue poster and says, you should put a poster up here of my book. Yes, you should. What are you doing slacking off? What are you doing skiving off loud? You're not meant to be playing ball. Jeez, you're meant to be opening a business. Now he's talking to DK Bowling about his new salon and she's talking about her books and he's also talking about her books as well yes so say goodbye to here because you're busy you've got to open things that's right love oh what are you doing you've gone outside too and you're playing ball stop playing with each other's balls now look at this isn't this nice do you like the poster on the wall and the vaseline yes here we go and we've got the windows you can see it from side on with the walls up and you've got some more posters over here of the 1960s. Yes, 1960s fashion, love. Yes, we do. We have some posters here of that. And you've got some items on the counter there too. Look, you've got some desk items and another telephone. And you've got an alarm on the wall. Yes, you've got an alarm up there on the wall on the right. And you've got some Vaseline images there, you see? Because they like slugging. Now, the brothers are outside discussing business. And James is going inside to offer this young man here a haircut. Yes, he says, look mate, you look like Rick Astley has donated you his hair. Yes, Rick Astley looks like he's donated you his 1980s hairstyle and you need a makeover. Yes, you do. And he's not very happy with that. Yes, he's, he's not very happy. He feels insulted by being told that he has a Rick Astley hairstyle. So he's very unhappy with that. Now, DK Bowling's a bit upset and she's telling them how everybody's labelling her as transphobic. So they're trying to console her. So she starts telling them about her new book that she's writing. She says, yes, well, I'm actually writing a new book. She says, hello, I mean, to introduce myself properly. My name's DK Bowling. I've written a book called Barry Snotter and the Order of the Eunuchs. I'm about to write a new one, which is called uh, Professor Mumblemore. Yes, that's right. Now, they're outside playing with each other's balls. What are you doing, love? You're not meant to be playing with his balls. You're meant to be giving him a new hairstyle. That's right, love. Getting rid of his Rick Astley here from 1980-something. Yes, now, as you can see here, he's talking to Marissa. And he's going to talk to DK. Yes. So Robert's going to have a talk with DK. 
But that's not going very well because they don't agree on some world issues at the moment. No, they don't. Now what are you doing, love? Why are you standing at the counter? There's nobody there. There's no one. Oh, yes, there is. That's a Rick Astley look like. Is he at the counter? Oh, he's disappeared. Where have you gone, love? What are you doing? Why are you behind the counter? They're taking over your salon. They're taking over your beauty spa, love. You're so out of control. Look, he's behind the counter. How dare he? You need to set some boundaries. Now DK's behind the counter as well. Now he's going to offer her a job, I think. He's going to offer her a job here as a cash and she goes, no, sorry, love, I'm too busy writing books. And they start talking about makeup and also soda, yes. About nightclubs and makeup and how he's a makeup artist. And she likes his makeup because I love your eyeshadow, it's better than mine, you need to give me lessons. And have a bit of a girly giggle, yes, because she's just really an undercover fag hag, yes. So they get, they have a good natter, yes they do, they have a right old natter. And now she's going to head away, yes, she's going to head away. Are you going home, love? She says, mind your business, Nana Beryl, I'm not going away, I'm going outside to play with Robert's balls, yes. So she's going to play with Robert's balls. Yes, Robert's going to play with his balls as well, yes he is. They're going to use a rugby ball to try and kill the butterflies, yes, but they're, they're not very good at aiming, are they, love? No. Robert, you need to learn how to aim your balls. Yes, that's right, love. Not very good at this, darling. You're better at slugging and makeup. Yes, I think you need to stick to what you're good at, love. Now, look, I Nana Beryl's had to actually stop the video. I had to cut the video here because I had to add some, some items into the staff room because there's nothing in the room at all. I completely forgot to populate it with items. But now that I have, look what's happened. They've taken over staff room, haven't they love? Yes, now Robert, you need to set some boundaries. How dare they take over your beauty spa? Where are you going love? What are you doing? So this is, this is with the wall up, you can see it's got a blue stylish wall. Yes, I'm not very impressed that they've taken over their staff room and they're eating all their chippies. Yes, they're eating all their eater, eater salt and vinegar chippies, which they had stored there in a pantry, yes. They're even eating food from the fridge, aren't they love? Yes, they are. They're stuffing their faces full of food, but at least they're tidy and they're cleaning up after themselves, aren't they? Especially DK Bowling, who's washing the dishes. You can't see her because she's behind the bathroom curtain there. Yes. Now what are you doing? What are you doing, Robert? Are you still pricing the goods? Oh my god, do we do a custom one or do we just leave it? Oh, so he's going to get a makeover after all, so we're going to give him a makeover. Yes, so, so Robert, is it Robert? It's Robert that's going to give you a makeover instead, yes, he is. Robert and James are going to give you a makeover. And James has just changed your hair colour. Yes, he's just given you a colour he has using Weller's Colliston Perfect. Yes, Weller's KP. Yes, which is still used in salons today, love, yes. Yes, that's right. I used to use it in salons when I was younger. Long time ago, back in the 90s when I used to get my hair done, I used to get it coloured with Colliston Perfect by Weller. Yes, it's a very nice colour range. Looks very natural. Vibrant colours. Their blondes are very nice too, love. Yes, very, very nice. Some people like L'Oreal because they're the first ones to create chemical hair colours. Yes, but they weren't called L'Oreal when they did that. They were under a different name. It's a very long time ago. But I prefer Weller colours. I just like them. They were nicer when I went to a salon. Now I use boxed colour sometimes, love. Yes, I do. Which is why my hair's a fiery red. It's an auburn. It's like the colour up there on the right, love. Yes. Now what are you doing, James? Oh, you're giving him some glasses and some stubble. Yes, you're giving him some designer stubble. Oh, and look, we're going to give you a beard. Yes, you look a bit like Adam Sandler dressed up, don't you, love? Yes, you do. You're starting to look a bit Italian, though, aren't you? Now we're going to colour your lips. We're going to put some... Lipstick on your love. What about your eyebrows? Do we need to alter those? What are you doing to him, James? Robert, what are you doing? You're giving him a different noggin. You're giving him a different nose, love. Yes, you are. Oh my god, look at his nose. He's got a bit right honk of you. Oh, you look a bit groovy, don't you, love? Yes, you look groovalicious. Well done. Well done, boys. Done a very good job. What are you doing, Robert? What are you looking at? Are you admiring the pictures on the wall? Oh, are you outside playing with your balls again? Jesus. Stop slacking off. Stop scrubbing off and go inside and do some work. Are you going home? Oh. Are you going home, love? 
I think DK Bowling is going home to write her book, are you? Or are you going to play with someone else's balls? Oh, they're, they're all going to play balls. Yes, they're going to play with each other's balls again. Oh, my Lord. What is up with this? Why, why are you outside playing with each other's balls? Bub? You're meant to be inside working. This is a salon. It's not a recreational centre, darling. Do you see any weight machines inside? Or a basketball court? No, love. There's not a basketball court inside for a reason. It's a beauty spa. It's also not a cafe, love. So, okay, so DK Bowling is going to wash her hands now. Yes. She's washing her hands with, with soap. Yes, she is. She's washing her hands with Cousin's Imperial Leather. Aren't you, love? Yes, you are. While well, this man sits in there and looks groovy in, in the staff room, don't you, love? You're looking groovy. Yes, you are, love. It's a very 1960s word, isn't it? Groovy. Oh, my God. What is this with rugby balls outside? Oh, she whacked him in the head accidentally and gave him a concussion. Now you've got some brain damage, love. Yes, you've got some brain damage. That's a bit of a worry. Now he's just stand, there's no, no wonder he's just standing there looking like he just doesn't know what he's doing. He's a bit dazed and confused. No, darling, you're not on the Sims 4. This is the Sims 2. You've just been hitting the head with a rugby ball. That's right, darling. Now he's eating some chippies and he's putting the packet down on the ground. And he's having a talk. Is that Robert? Oh, Robert, Robert's here on the left. That's right, so that's James he's talking to. And Marissa's stuffing her face with some salt and vinegar chippies again. Yes, she is. Now the telephone's ringing. So why don't you answer the phone, Robert? Answer the phone. You meant to be running a business, love. Robert, answer the phone. What are you doing? He's drinking from his coffee mug. That's right, love. Just be tidy and put it on the ground. Because that's the thing, isn't it, love? Just putting coffee mugs on the ground. That's not untidy at all, love. He says, hello. The Belch Beauty Spa, how can I help you? And it's, I think it's Dr. Bumble, isn't it? Yes, it's Dr. Bumble. And he wants an appointment to have his eyelashes tinted. Yes, he does. He wants to look younger. He wants an eyelash tint. Oh, darling, now I thought it's getting late at night, love. You need to close the salon. Yes, you do. You need them to all go home and stop eating all your food. Yes, you do, love. You need to go and put the clothes sign outside. Yes, you need to change the sign outside the clothes, dear. When are you going to do that? He says, I'll do it in my own time, Nana Beryl. I need to have a bath because my skin needs to be rehydrated afterwards with moisturiser. So right now, I need to get rid of the excess sebum off my skin. Yes, the oil and dirt, love. So he's had his bath and he's put on his CeraVe. Yes, he has. Luckily, they've got a bathroom at where he works, love. Yes. Now Robert is going to have another bath, aren't you Robert? Yes, so Robert's going to have another bath because his last one, the towel made him itchy, yes. So he's got to have another wash. Now why are you getting James to, to clean up your own coffee cup? Oh that's right James, yes that's right. Be logical and pick up his coffee cup and just leave your own on the ground because that's completely logical love, yes. It's not untidy at all, no. And then you should wash your hands too. Oh no, he quite likes the red hair, yes he thinks he's a bit stylish, he likes his hair because it's very red, he likes red heads. But he also likes darker skinned men too who are bald, yes he does, he likes bald skin guys, skin heads sort of men. Not skin heads but you know guys with, with bald heads like this one that's just walked in. Now James has just washed his hands with Cousins Imperial Leather and then he's taking a dump so he's doing it in reverse love, yes he is. Now why don't you come back and have a talk to this Andrew Tate wannabe love. Yes, this Andrew Tate wannabe over here that's standing by the mini fridge. Yes, he looks a bit like Andrew Tate, doesn't he, love? A little bit. Well, a wee bit, anyway. Yes. So, well, his brother's got in there and first, haven't you, love? Yes. So Robert's got in there first. Oh, look, they're all having a conversation, aren't they? Yes. Do you like redheads too, do you, Robert? Oh, so you're picking up, you're picking up his coffee cup. I thought you're not the same person. And, oh, and look, it's Oh My Fluffy Boom Booms. She's arrived as well, love. Yes. The, the trans woman. Yes, she's arrived. And she's having a word. Oh, look, they're not getting along, are they? The Andrew Tate look alike. And Robert, what are you talking about, love? Why are you getting so heated? Oh, he's not very happy, is he? He's a bit aggressive. Oh, he doesn't like him. Oh, they do not get on, do they? 
Now who's he like? Who's the redhead like? Oh, he likes he likes um oh my fluffy boom booms by the looks of it. Yes, that's right, love. Take out the trash. Be a tidy, Brit. That's right, take out. Now you need to do this. You need to change the sign to close, love. Yes. Now Nana Bear will put a sign up there for business, so you can turn it around and make it closed, dear. Now close it, love. Come on, close the business. Everyone will read. Oh, he can't get to it because it's on the edge of the steps, love. Are you that precious? Are you scared you're going to fall down and give yourself a concussion like your brother, love? Oh, well, okay, well, Nana Bear probably should have made it more accessible, shouldn't she? Yes, I'm going to have to remove this light from up on the wall as well. Because I don't think... I wonder if I can do this when it's actually a community or it's a business. So maybe we can move it, but we might have to move the light first because it's in the way up the top there on the right hand side I think so we try and move this we we'll have to move it over here under the light can we move it? no we can't I don't think so we are going to have to move the light I think first so put that back over here for now and then we'll grab the light off the wall yes we will and we'll move the lamp over here just for now and then move the sign where Robert can reach it and then move this lamp back over because it looks a bit odd there. Move it over here a bit. There we go. Now, put you back in live mode and you can close your business and everyone should leave. Because it's getting too late, love. It's early hours of the morning, darling. You need your beauty sleep. You need to slug. That's right, love. Now, close the salon. Come on, darling. Turn around. That's it. Good man. Very good man. What? You've just opened it. Yeah, now it's closed. That's good. Good on you, love. Yes, you'll get there, won't you, darling? Yes, you will. And you can see the beautiful posters on the wall, love, yes. And the nice blue walls. And oh my, and the Andrew Tate want to be leaving. Yes, they are. Yes, they're going home, love. Yes, he's going home to practice some mixed martial arts, love. Yes, he is. He's got a boxing bag at home. Yes, he's a bit angry. And he's cleaning up, but good on you, James, cleaning up while your brother scoffs his face. What are you doing? You're stuffing your face with food. Yes, he's a bit hungry. Yes, he is. You're lucky there's any food left, love. Are you having rice eggs or cocoa pops? I think he's got cocoa pops, haven't you, love? Yes, snack, crackle and pop. And he's got some soy milk on them, haven't you, love? Yes. Oh, very nice. Now, the taxi's arrived for you to go back home, darling. Yes, yeah, so we should send you back home. It's daytime now. We're not going to be able to work today because you've been up all night, love. It's not very good. Pulling an all-nighter. Well, maybe you're closed for today and open again tomorrow, darling. Yes, that's right. You're going to have to change your hours on your time board, love. Yes, you are. And I think that's where we'll leave it today. So thank you so much for watching, darling. Um, shall we go further? Oh, we might just see them in the door, shall we? We'll just see them in the door. Yes, here we go. So they're arriving back. And now you'll need some sleep, darling. Yes, you will. You'll need to sleep. It's alright, darling. Go to bed and get your rest. You might just have to forget using Vaseline tonight, love. Or today. You need one of those eye masks to block out the light too, darling, so you can get some sleep. Yes, it's been snowing, so it's quite cold. We haven't given you a fireplace yet, have we? Or a gas heater. You need some kind of heating, dear. I might give you an oil heater. Or a convection heater. Convecting, convector heaters are a lot cheaper to run. So they're going to bed. Yes, they're going to their own separate beds there. Very good. Now get your beauty sleep and have a good snooze, yes. So thank you for watching, love. We'll leave it there. And uh, thank you for tuning in. And tune in again next time for more Nana Beryl videos. Bye.